Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, Chelsea Lectoro. This is Chelsea. Today I'm going to do your July 2020 monthly love reading. Let's find out what's coming towards you in love for the month of July, okay? And for those who stumbled upon this video by chance, this could also be a message for you, no matter when this video is released. And I really want to thank you so much, Libra, for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. And please don't forget to click on the bell notification button. Let's get to your reading. And I'm going to do a Celtic Claw spread. Um, it is different from the Daily Guidance reading because Celtic Claw spread is, is more comprehensive. So we're going to pick 10 cards. Spirits and Angels, please. Show me accurate love messages for Libra for the month of July 2020. Libra, love messages. Libra, love messages for the month of July 2020. Love messages for Libra. Anymore. I will take this. Bottom of the deck is eight, nine of wands. Nine of wands. The wounded warrior. So you could have been feeling wounded in the past or hurt, okay? And there is a devil card here in reverse. Um, that's a recent past. Somebody could have been juggling someone else, okay? And kept you in the dark here with the devil. And a connection that could be a karmic, a karmic tie that I feel you're trying to remove yourself from or them trying to remove themselves. Those can be reversed, by the way, okay? And this is also for the July love reading, but um, time is, did I say time is reversed? Can be, energy roles can be reversed. <laughs> okay, so time is fluid, so this could have happened to you in the past, currently, or in the future. Although it's a reading for July, but it could very well carry on to July, August, September. Okay, and also roles can be reversed, I've already said that. <laughs> and also it's not gender specific in tarot, okay? So the death card is in reverse here. Somebody could be resisting, somebody could be resisting an ending here, okay? I feel like it is someone, uh, Libra could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? A Virgo could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Leo Sagittarius, uh, Aries, and also a Virgo Gemini here, okay, all the signs are here, and there you are, Justice Libra, so we'll, we'll get there in a bit. What I'm seeing here is like, these are your thoughts, all the other person's thoughts, okay, so something could have ended, and I feel like Still, there is a sense of unable to, to accept the fact that it has ended here, okay? And with the Five of Pentacles, somebody could have left out in the cold and wanted to come back in. And here, it could have caused some sort of a drama. With, I feel like somebody could have cheated here, okay? Uh, juggling between two people with the Devil card and the Two of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Wands in reverse, you could be dealing with someone or this could be yourself, okay? Those can be reversed. So someone who is in and out energy, non-committal, could have been a player or a play, playboy or a playgirl. And right here is the current situation. Somebody wants to unload their burden. Again, there is a death in reverse. Someone is resisting the ending, but I feel like it's inevitable here with the tower. You have two tower cards and two uh, death card here 
and reverse, but the tower, one tower is in upright position. I'm sensing like this was meant to happen. It's a divine intervention. It's so that you could see, okay, clearly for what it is. Obviously, the connection was a very toxic and a very negative one. Um, could have had a lot of cheating and lying involved or codependency. And with the tower here, you know, um, something could have made you see uh, something have happened, a shocking event, right? So finally someone just sort of threw in the towel and say, okay, I don't want to fight any, I don't want to fight for this connection anymore, or that they want to fight uh, at all costs. It, this, this card could go either way here. But what I'm sensing is someone just sort of threw in the towel, but someone else here wants to fight for it, but we'll see okay but there is a player energy here um someone who have been you know just non-committal cheating and lying and with the tower in reverse also someone possibly wanting to do some sort of a damage control i feel like with the hermit here the problem is someone here also is finding it hard to walk away from this connection, of course, with the devil card here, the tie, you know, it's like feeling chained to this, this connection, but not for the good reason, not for, not for good reasons, because it's a devil card, so it's, it's very toxic, and it may, may not last, yeah, I mean, it doesn't last, even if it, and it always ends with uh, a lot of pain and suffering here, so someone could have gone in a hermit mode, and um, or someone to me the hermit here could also mean that someone wasn't making a wise decision. Okay, I read the hermit as a reversal at a blockage position here, and also with the ace of one here, somebody could have already started a new relationship elsewhere. Okay, starting a new passion, and already it could also mean that somebody could have walked away. They could have walked away and not wanting to come back and revisit this situation. And with the Three of Swords here, I'm sensing, of course, it's a... Okay, Three of Swords, the... <laughs> both are actually... The Three of Swords clarifying the Three of Swords here, so... Okay. So maybe the heartbreak, uh, the third party situation, it could have... Um, not just broken your heart but the other third party's heart and the other as well like all three all three um have suffered from it possibly that's how i would read it but with the page of swords in reverse i feel like somebody here is stalking someone always checking up on someone here okay with the nine of pentacles could be dealing with the virgo capricorn and taurus as well also i feel like um this is also a sense of the Nine of Pentacles. It's like trying to love yourself more, trying to focus on yourself, um, trying to embrace singlehood. Um, someone could be watching you, or you could be watching someone doing well, being single, um, or just loving, loving themselves more, taking care of themselves more, uh, taking care of their business. And of course, but still there is a lot of hurt and a sense of betrayal here. And justice card is right here. This is you. So you just don't feel like it is fair, okay? Or you just want justice to be served. Karma, whoever did something wrong to you, um, I feel like someone is facing the yeah, justice karma here, okay? Because Six of Pentacles is also in reverse. It wasn't an equal give and take, or somebody could be giving it to someone else, starting another relationship elsewhere, or another connection. So I feel like your hope is to just get out of this mode of feeling depressed or upset or sad about this whole situation and end the cycle and start a new one. So ending an era of toxicity and negativity in your uh, past relationship here, okay? Yeah, again, you do have a lot of, um, the, uh, you know, nine of nine of swords here so a lot of sadness a lot of um crying a lot of depression a lot of 
a lot of depression. How more depressed can you be? Right? <laughs> and then here's a tree of swords here. Sadness, hurt, pain, okay? It's writing, it's all over the place. It is not you, it's the other person. Or, you know, energy can be reversed, all can be mixed up as well. Here, after all, it's a general reading, but even in private reading, energy can also very well be reversed. Power is in reverse here, let's clarify. Yeah, somebody is trying to do them some damage control um, when it comes to because somebody was found out regarding a third party situation. Somebody could want a, a re reconciliation, but somebody doesn't want to take it. Okay, somebody doesn't want to take it with the four of uh, cups here. So the magician is in the most likely outcome, let's see. I feel like Libra in the month of July, um, you're just going to manifest, you know, you, you're going to do your best, you're going to do your best to just remove the swords from your back here, and just try, trying to get out of the feeling of being betrayed, and not focusing on that pain anymore, but you'll be still very cautious because you've been hurt before, right, and the magician here, um, if this is not you manifesting, it could also mean like somebody um, just wearing a false mask because the magician, although in a in a upright position, they could still be a trickster. Okay, so there is some sort of with the ten of pentacles here. I feel like you you feel very cautious. You feel very sort of. Uh, how do you say suspicious? Suspicious. You still feel very suspicious, um, maybe. But there is a ten of pentacles in coming your way, Libra, in July. Maybe I'm sensing this could be a completely new relationship here, where you will uh, that is that has more stability. Okay, that is that looks way more promising than the past. I feel like you will end the cycle here with the world card ending this toxic cycle and starting a new 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 relationship new cycle if it's not that these are pentacles maybe you just be focusing more on on collecting your pentacles on, on working and making more money and if you get into a new relationship i feel like it's going to be a more a more um solid one okay all right libra this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe and also I do private reading. All my information is in the description box below. Um, I do daily guidance reading every single day. If you like to be notified, please also hit on the bell uh, button notification. All right, Libra, take care. Bye.